This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on unit 5, building apps, lesson 12, loops and simulations, puzzle 4. Counting heads. If you don't have this code, you need to go back and do part 3. If you're stuck on it, watch my video, but you should have that code. All right. Counting heads. Let's say that a 1 is a head. If we want our simulation to run until we reach a certain number of heads, then we will need a way to count the number of heads that have been flipped. In order to do this, you will need to add a variable that acts as a counter, initialize it to zero, and every time you flip a heads, increment our, your counter by one. At the end, the program should write the value to the screen. Ah, okay. So we just want to make something that can count the number of times we get uh, heads. So that's similar to the counter variable I already created, right? We're just going to add to it, but it's a conditional. You want to check if something's true first. Add a variable that counts the number of heads once and writes the value to the screen after each flip. Run your program several times and validate that number of heads recorded is correctly is correct by visually checking the flips you've printed to the screen. Hint, you'll need to store your current coin flip in a variable to complete this challenge. Oh, well, I was already doing that, so that's fine. And then we're going to need a new variable. I'm going to say heads count and set it equal to zero, just so it's really clear what that is. And then I need an if, right? Because I want to check if something is happening before I do this. And if, oh, uh, if coin, the equality operator, which is two equal sign, not one, one declares something, one makes a variable. If coin is equal to one, what do I want? I want to increment, I want to add to this head count variable I made. Okay. So math. It's not going to let me. I'm just going to go to text mode. This is driving me nuts. Um, I also want this to just to be plus plus. Better form. Plus plus. And then... Now that we know that, might as well use it and get used to it. It is something programmers use. All right. And so each time it's equal to one, we want to add one to our variable that represents the head count. Ooh, and what do they have? They have, okay. And now we want to write. And plus, and then my variable's name is heads count. And I think that might do it. Let's give it a shot. That looks good. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. Let's do it again. Yup. Awesome. So this is the code that's working for me. Great. Let's keep uh, going.